welcome back to the new session of economics now we can discuss some numerical questions okay so first question calculate gdp mp gdp fc ndp fc nnp fc from the following information so information are first one gross investment is given as 90 net export is given as 10 nit is given as 5 depreciation is given as 15 nfi fa it is minus 5 private consumption expenditure 350 government purchases of goods and services that is 100 Okay, so firstly we can calculate GDP MP. How we can calculate GDP MP? By adding all the expenditures. So what are the expenditures given in question? Gross investment. Gross investment means total investment. So it is an expenditure. So gross investment plus. Next one net export. It is also a part of expenditure. Net export plus next one private consumption expenditure private consumption expenditure plus government purchase of goods that means government expenditure okay government purchases of goods that is equal to Gross investment how much? 90 plus net ex export 10 plus private consumption expenditure 350 plus government purchase of goods that is 100. So we will get 550. 550 is our GDP EMP. So, next question that is calculate GDP FC. So, GDP FC, how we can calculate? GDP FC is equal to GDP EMP minus NIT. Okay, so GDP MP it is 550 minus NIT. How much it is given? 5. That is equal to 545. So that is our GDP FC. Next question NDP FC. NDP FC is equal to G -E N D P. Sorry, GDP FC minus depreciation. We already calculated GDP FC and if we subtract depreciation, then we will get NDP FC 545 minus depreciation it is 15. That is equal to 530. The last one that is Calculate national income that is NNPFC. NNPFC we can calculate from this NDPFC that is NDPFC plus NFIFA that is equal to 530 plus NFIFA here it is minus 5 is given so minus 5 that is equal to 525. Okay, so this is the method of calculating GDP MP, GDP FC, NDP FC and NNP FC. Firstly, in expenditure method, firstly you need to calculate GDP MP. Keep in mind. So how we can calculate GDP MP? Whatever the expenditures are, whatever the final expenditures are given in question, just to add it. Okay, from GDP MP, you can easily calculate NNP FC if you know the concept. So now we can discuss one more question. Okay, so it is given that gross domestic fixed capital formation that is gross fixed investment it is 400, private final consumption expenditure 8000, government final consumption expenditure 3000, change in stock, delta stock that is 50, consumption of fixed capital 40, what is consumption of fixed capital? Depreciation, okay, NIT 100, net export minus 60, and next net factor income to abroad keep in mind net factor income to abroad it is not net factor income from abroad 
If we get net factor income from abroad, we will add. Here we got NFI TA, net factor income to abroad. So here we need to subtract. Okay. Next, net current transfer from abroad that is 100. Net current transfer from abroad means it is current transfer, transfer income. So it will not considered during the time of calculation of national income. Next, dividend it is 100. Dividend is related with the income method. So this dividend is not required for this calculation. So net current transfer is not required. At the same time, dividend also not required. So first, what is the question? Calculate national income or NNPFC. For calculating national income, firstly we need to calculate GDPMP, then NDPMP, then NDPFC, then NNPFC. Firstly we can calculate GDPMP. GDPMP is equal to first one that is gross domestic capital formation plus private final consumption expenditure plus government final consumption expenditure plus change in stock plus net export net export okay now we can write on the values first one gross domestic fixed capital that is 400 plus private final consumption expenditure 8000 plus government final expenditure 3000 plus change in stock that is 50 plus net export that is minus 60 so just to add all these ones then what we will get GDP EMP Eleven thousand three hundred and ninety is our GDP MP. From this GDP MP, we can easily calculate NDP MP. What is the formula of NDP MP? GDP MP minus depreciation. So, what is depreciation? Here it is consumption of fixed capital. That is equal to GDP MP. We already calculated 11,390 minus consumption of fixed capital that is 40. So answer is 11,350. So this is our NDP MP. If we get NDP MP, then we can easily calculate NDP FC. So how we can calculate NDP MP minus minus NIT. That is equal to 11,350 minus NIT how much? 100. That is equal to 11,250. Okay, next. NDPFC, then NNPFC. NNPFC is equal to NDPFC then in question it is given that net factor income to abroad so if we get net factor income to abroad to abroad then we need to subtract okay if we get net factor income from abroad we need to add if we get net factor income to abroad we need to subtract so minus net factor income to abroad NFI TA okay so that is equal to 11,250 minus net factor income to abroad it is minus 80 once again if we get to abroad then we need to subtract okay 
11,330 will be the right answer. So that is national income. Okay, so before attending the question, read question carefully. Otherwise, your answer will become wrong. Okay. Now we can discuss some precautions regarding expenditure method. First one, only final expenditure is to be taken into account to avoid error of double counting. That is, expenditure on intermediate goods and services must be avoided while calculating national income. So, in the definition itself, we discussed in expenditure method, we are calculating GDP MP by considering the expenditures on final goods and services. Okay, expenditure on raw material, we will not be included. Then second precaution, expenditure on second hand good is not to be included because its value is already estimated. Okay, then next one, expenditure on shares and bonds is, no, is not to be included in the total expenditure as these are mere paper claims and not related to the production of final goods and services. That means uh, expenditure made by household or firms on purchase of shares and bonds it is not to be included in the total expenditure okay next one expenditure on transfer payment by the government is not to be included so in the expenditure we discussed government final expenditure that expenditure means expenditure on final goods made by government here government expenditure is there just like uh, payment of pension payment of unemployment allowances etc so these are transfer payment okay from the side of government these are transfer payment and this expenditure we will not consider in the calculation of national income okay so these are the precautions regarding expenditure method and this is a time for wind up our this session and tomorrow in the next video, we can discuss some theory aspects of national income. Okay, thank you.